Welcome back, Gorge Lord, for another match day review slash preview. Roma didn't go as well as I wanted it to, as well as I expected. Like it was just a shocking performance from Chelsea. We we lost it in midfield. Our defence was shaky. Just the freak El Sharabi, His his first goal was actually class. You couldn't really stop that. But we did give him too much time to get that shot away, and our defence was just all over the shop. There's just it's not consistent enough like last season. We were keeping the same back three, Cahill, David Luiz and Aspen Lequeta as our back three. This season we keep chopping and changing. I think Conte just needs to pick his best three uh, defenders and stick with it. Whether it's Cahill or Rudiger, Christensen and uh, Dave or uh, Rudiger, uh, Louise and Dave or whatever. Whatever our best three is, he needs to stick with that and just go with that for the whole season. Whether... And then when we get injuries or we need to rest players, that's when you change it. You don't change it every match game. We need to get that consistent to start building on. Back in the Premier League, we got Man United on Sunday. Half four kickoff at Stamford Bridge. Mourinho's returning like with, uh, with a stronger United team than he did last season. So I am worried going into this game. Obviously, they, they won their game against Benfica. And we lost in the Champions League. We both played on the same day, so we haven't got an extra day rest. But what we do have, we do have Kante back. I didn't want him to start against Roma uh, because I wanted him fresh for this game. He's just coming back from an injury, so hopefully he starts. Um, but yeah, just United. We got to stop. We got to stop Lukaku. Just sit on him and just close down. Like they're going to sit back, so we have most of the ball and creating all the chances. So we have got to take them. And Hazard and Pedro, who I think I'll go onto my team, my starting 11s in a minute. But I think they need to be on fire. They need to be putting shots in and getting shots away at the hay. I don't think he's been really tested this season. So just get shots away. See, he conceded two sloppy goals against uh, Huddersfield. So if we get our shots away, then maybe we get we get a chance if we create all these chances when United are sitting back. But I, like I said, I am worried going into this game. So... Let's get on to my starting eleven. Of course, Warren goal. I think the three goals really weren't really his fault. So, like he's been, he's been, he's been good this season. Like he hasn't been phenomenal like he was last season, but he has been good. He hasn't really made many mistakes. Um, so on to my back line. I'm going to go Aspilicueta, David Luiz, and Rudiger for this game. I think Rudiger could bring the ball out. He can. I don't mean passing it. I mean bringing the ball out. He can. He can drive with it. And then release at the right time. So I think Rudiger, David Luiz and Aspilicueta is my back three. In midfield, the returning in Golo Kante from, from injury, from a hamstring injury. So I think it's been his first game back against Man United. And how much we have missed him is just it's just scary. Like if he gets another injury this season, I don't I don't know where we're gonna finish. Um so hopefully he can stay fit for the rest of the season because we have missed him. So Kante goes in the middle with me. Baki Yoko next to him. I think he's been playing on one leg recently. He's been has had a bit of an injury, so having Kane back next to him might. They look solid before Kane got injured, so hopefully those two can make their partnership even stronger and keep building against United. So um, that's my middle, my two centre mids. So onto my left wing back. I think Marcus Alonso. I keep saying this. He looks tired. We haven't got a replacement for him. We haven't got someone who can back him up. I would like to go into January transfer window and try get Ryan Bertrand. But I don't know if that I don't know if that's a possibility. So it'd be interesting. I think we need to get a replacement, or not a replacement, but just someone who, if he needs a rest, we can put him in and it'd be solid. So that's what I look to for in January when when the transfer market opens. But Alonso goes in for me. No one's really competing for his spot. Then we have out on the left, uh, right. Uh, I know Moses ain't back yet, so it'd be probably be Sapa Costa or Aspidaqueta. And you put Christensen in the back line with David Luiz and Rudiger. Or you have Kale in there. Um, I don't think Kale was right for this game. Lukaku would just Lukaku would just push him with the ball and run right, really. So, yes, Sabah Costa goes in for me. I want to keep uh, Aspen Aquila in the back line with David Luiz and Rudiger. Then my front three is going to be Eden Hazard. He's looking sharp. He was the only one really creating against Roma. So, he's got to start. He's got to... His form is coming, like his he just he just oozes class and oozes technique and oozes like quality. So he's got to start for me. Murata lead in the line and out on the right. Pedro, I think he's been fantastic when he has played. He's closed down the ball. 
He chases down everything. His intensity. I keep saying this is. It's just unreal. Have you done it yet? No, I'm just filming. Now. Oh, hi, George. Oh, How are you doing? Right. Yeah, mate. I'm good. I'm you good. You're looking for a, a renegade Tottenham fan to come in and help you out. Here. <laughs> Honestly, I think you're going to win. Do you think? Yeah, mate. I think you will. I think. I think I've, I've had it since we've done the preview on 90 min. I think that. Uh, Old matey boy Mourinho. Look, we were chatting about this earlier, weren't we? Was yeah, yeah. Chelsea's just a little bit more clinical than Spurs, are, aren't they? Yeah, we are. If they yeah. get chances, Chelsea will take them. And we will all do because Man United will sit back, like I've just I've just said it before. So we'll be creating the chances. We just got to take them. I don't think De Gea has been tested so far this season. No, and I feel like you know. Do you know what? If if anyone is gonna go and pick apart a Mourinho game plan, you'd have to say Conte's one of the yeah. best place managers in the Prem to do it. Like, yeah, his, techni his technical ability and his, and his tactical nous in uh, high pressure situations over the course of the last season and uh, a few games, barring yeah. the games against Roma where you guys have come unstuck, it hasn't been, it hasn't been that bad. If you look at the Spurs game at the beginning of the season, he got that so bang yeah. on. Yes, he like, nailed it. We soaked up the pressure and just counted just so. And, what, and look, and who's to, United need to win. Yeah, That's I think I think both teams need to win. But United, United are five points away, right? Yeah. So if United don't win, if they get a draw and City, and City get win three, earlier on, United have to win, and yeah. then that means that I think you can afford to maybe sit a little bit further back, break away, mm. use your pace in pace down the wing, so just do counter attack like we normally do. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. What were you saying? What are you thinking? Um, That's why I rudely interrupted. No, it's all right. Um, I was thinking that we would have more possession, but I think Mourinho will sit back because he has in these big games before against Tottenham, against Liverpool. So I think Mourinho will sit back and just hopefully try and nick it like in the last 10 minutes. Do you think he'd take a so, draw? Take yeah, Mourinho would yeah, take a draw? Yeah, definitely. Against, yeah, against Chelsea. So the pace, Premier, though, Premier League champions. Do you not think Mourinho's got that little bit about him that he might want to might want to go and, and get one over on him? It just it just depends what happens in the early game with City and Arsenal. Very good point. That will have a lot of bearing, won't it? Yeah. So if oh, City uh, win, you're not so exciting, to win. man. Yeah. I don't know about you guys. But if I'm we win, excited. we go one point behind them. One point behind United. Is it one? Yeah, one point. Isn't it? Is it? Is it one point? or Is it two points? If 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 Spurs. if Chelsea if the Chelsea win, is it one point or two points? It's one point. It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So we're, oh. we're a lot closer than people think. People have been writing us off this season. We've gone a bit under the radar. So. Yeah, man. I know. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping Chelsea. Do. I want a, a really exciting title race this yeah. year. It, so I, I think, think I want City to drop points. I want United to drop points. I want everyone nice and close. So when it comes yeah. to a few games to go, especially around Christmas. Up. Oh mate, how's that better? Okay, I'll let you do that. <laughs> Sorry, this was fun. <laughs> so I'm going to predict Chelsea two, Man United one. I'll see you there on Sunday. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit a like. Hit the comments so I can get back to you lot. Last but not least, come on, you Blues. <laughs>